Rupert, I'm fascinated by manners in the modern age, modern age because there are so many different things that we need to attribute correct forms of behaviour to now. Um, does De Bretz keep up with modern day etiquette or, or are you firmly stuck in the past? I, I would like to think we keep up and we try to keep up. I and mean, we, we would never deny for a moment that etiquette is constantly evolving. And, and those people who thought that etiquette was, was last seen disappearing over the horizon in the closing chapters of Jane Austen novel are, are hugely mistaken. Yes, there are some people who would love to preserve etiquette in aspect, uh, aspect and for it never to change. But, but the reality is it does change, it must change, and, and we as a business are making sure that we, we change with it. So tell me about modern day etiquette, social media etiquette, things like that. I mean, for instance, I, I used as an example in my opening WhatsApp where you can choose to have the two blue ticks or not. And if you have the blue ticks, there's a whole sort of subtext of uh, reading between the lines and psychological interpretation of the time someone takes to respond. Is there now a modern day etiquette on things like that? Yes, there is. And like all real etiquette, it is largely, um, the, the fine details are largely unwritten. Um, my first advice would be don't overthink it. Um, don't spend your life counting down the seconds until somebody reads it or counting down the seconds until they reply after having read it. I, I think that that is, um, that's a one-way street and you will work yourself into a frenzy for no good effect. But just acknowledge that, that you may not be the most important thing in that person's life at that very moment and, and move on. Uh, Debrett, we have a number of, um, I guess, principles that under, underlie it. And, and I, we agree completely with Liz, where it is, for us, etiquette is about care and consideration for other people. And you can, you can roll that out into your social media interactions, uh, your emails, your voicemails, and all of these other forms of communication. But the principles, firstly, for me, don't waste people's time. Uh, I'm thinking particularly of, of emails or Zoom meetings. Um, other principles, don't say things digitally that you wouldn't say to people face to face. I think that's critical. Also, don't be too quick to judge what people put out there. I mean, both in terms of their, their content, everybody's entitled to have a different, different opinion to yours, but also the way in which they do it. We all speak with different styles. We come from different backgrounds. And, and so don't be too quick to judge. The great thing about the internet is it allows us to connect with millions of people worldwide. The bad thing is it allows us to connect with millions of people worldwide. And, and some people all of a sudden find themselves exposed to situations or people or viewpoints that they've never had to contemplate before. And so my advice is don't be too quick to judge. One thing that fascinates me is the change in manners when it comes to the different gender expectations of the past. You know, men were expected to hold open doors for women and give up their seat and pay the bill and walk on the carriage side of the thoroughfare. Um, and, but th there's almost this concept now that if you did that for a woman, you might be offending her or undermining her. Has Debetz had to essentially tear out entire chapters and rewrite them? Or somehow have you managed to calibrate these very opposing opinions into sort of one sensible instruction? Well, we go back to this idea, care and consideration for other people. What is right for the other person? And there are certain things that, that you can do. And, and, and holding the doors open is a good one. I mean, I hold the door open for anyone. I don't I don't make an exception for women. And, and I think that's, that's the way that etiquette is moving. Because a lot of those things, whilst on the face of it seem polite, um, and for a lot of people, uh, they are absolutely essential in the world in which they live and couldn't see it any other way. As I said, etiquette moves on. Things, things have developed. And I think if we were to perpetuate all of those, you know, those gender-driven etiquette behaviours. I really think that um, we would be trying to hold the world back. And, and a, a lot of people look entirely backwards for etiquette, whereas certainly at Debrett, we look at the etiquette that is evolving around us and help people make sense of it.
Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.